Learning without school. It is an interesting topic since my approach to it was what do we mean by learning and what do we mean by without school? I will therefore start speaking about the different ideas of what learning may be, which will then help us see the different interpretations for learning without school. I will debate its pros and cons, followed by an explanation to why learning without school is important, since I agree with the fact that we can indeed learn without school. To begin, one should probably ask what we mean by learning itself in order for us to attempt to understand the concept of learning without school. So what ideas and definitions could one actually find for the term learning? We have self-development and flourishing of the individual. We have adopting a certain behaviour, adapting to a situation, memorising facts and regurgitating information, play, Exchange of ideas and transmission of knowledge, acquisition of skills and knowledge, or could it just simply be all of the previous ideas? These different characteristics of learning allow us to look at learning without school from different perspectives. We have firstly this idea of school being a social construct, the latter being nothing is real unless people say that it is. So if we have this idea that learning only takes place in school, that's only because that's what we've been told and used to thinking. Moreover, we also learn things while at school without them being explicitly taught, which brings us to think about John Dewey's hidden curriculum. We also learn outside of a school premises and building and formal schooling, such as forest schools and online courses, for instance. And we also have this notion of learning without school, as in outside of any type of formal or compulsory education. We have Vygotsky's theory of play in learning. We also have behaviorism from Pavlov and Skinner. We also have Bandura's modeling theory, but we also learn through apprenticeships, jobs, and what we call life. So thanks to these different interpretations, we may discuss which are beneficial and which aren't in terms of learning. So, for instance, we have this inconvenience of online courses, which could possibly impact on our social skills in the long term. And we also have this fear of rising technology, which could possibly lead to a loss of human contact. However, we all learn in different ways according to Gravels. So all of the previous interpretations have one aspect in common, which is that we learn through socialising with those around us. And this is an idea that Vygotsky strongly agreed with, for instance. And the importance of language in learning is huge. So we learn through experience and we learn through play. We learn thanks to this transmission and exchange of knowledge, values and culture and tradition, it's another way of learning which we don't always see it as learning. So coming back to the idea of school being a social construct of learning, we can now argue the final point, which is why learning without school is crucial and totally doable. The concept of school being a place of learning was a socially constructed piece of knowledge transmitted from generation to generation. In fact, Illich says that the pupil is thereby schooled to confuse teaching with learning, which is why his suggestion of de-schooling society is extremely important. So is learning without school a more vertical or a more horizontal approach to learning? Or could it simply be both? Since learning is for the benefit of the individual, we could therefore argue that thanks to these different ways of learning, um, learning without school could be a possibility of being an end in itself rather than a means to an end the way school does.